Hey crypto friends, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today guys, I'm going to talk about the types of altcoins that you're going to want before a bull market starts. And I'm also going to show you some examples of which types of altcoins as well, you guys. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, um, if you are interested in trading and you would like to try the same exchange that I use on a regular basis, feel free to go ahead and try the MACC exchange. You can find a link to it in the description below this video. Um, I love this exchange, it's awesome. Um, I didn't even know about it until up until two years ago. Um, but the reason why I personally love it, you guys, is because I'm a huge altcoin trader, tra ugh, trader, Trader, and I love trading all kinds of different altcoins, you guys. So here's the thing, Mexi, they have over 1,500 different altcoins for me to be able to buy before a bull market, okay? These are the types of altcoins. They have all the types of altcoins that I want to buy, okay? Whereas like Coinbase or Binance, they only have like 300 altcoins that you can buy, okay? So if you want small cap altcoins, Mexi is the place to get them, all right? So guys, we are going to dive right into this video. Now here's the thing, you guys, all right? A lot of you who do know me and a lot of you who have been watching me for a while, you already know that I talk about this a lot in my videos. I talk a lot about different types of coins to buy before next bull markets and stuff like that. Um, and the reason why I do this, you guys, is because I simply, I simply hate seeing people miss out on opportunities to make as much money as they possibly can, okay? Again, my channel is all about helping people because, you know, I wish I was, I wish there was somebody to help me five years ago when I first got into the crypto, crypto scene. Um, so guys, here's the thing, all right? This video is going to be pretty short. Um, there's really not much to explain here, but uh, we'll get to it. So guys, the main coins, they're the main types of coins that you're going, whoops, the main types of coins that you're mainly going to want to buy are simply the small cap altcoins that are built on top of top tier ecosystems that haven't done a large, you know, 30 to 100 X gain or even more than that yet. Okay. Now I'm not talking about meme coins either here. Okay. Um, I definitely not meme coins. I'm talking about utility projects like DEXs and stuff like that and coins that have platforms that people or developers can actually use. Okay. Um, and you know, here's the thing, you guys, there's a lot of these types of coins out there and people just don't think about them. And that's the thing. And the reason why is because Everybody is so caught up in investing their money into like Ethereum or BNB or Cardano or Solana or Polkadot or Polygon. Yeah, these are great solid investments, but here's the thing. All of these coins have already done 30 to 100 X's when they were new. Okay, so they're not gonna go 30 to 100 X again. All right, it's just not gonna happen. All right, they might do, you know, they might end up doing maybe a 5X or something like that, but you're not gonna see these coins, these coins that have major large market caps already, you're not gonna see these coins do a 100 X. Okay, it's just not gonna happen. It's not realistic. All right, so you want to be getting in on these small cap coins that are built on top of these coins that haven't taken off yet. Okay. So I'm going to show you a couple of examples of these. All right. So for those of you who aren't new to my channel and you've been watching me for quite a while, you probably already know which coins I'm going to be talking about here. But the first one here that I want to show you guys is actually one called Opal. Okay. Or sorry, Opulus. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Clearly we can see here, you guys, um, this coin is built around the Ethereum, Ethereum ecosystem and pretty much Algorand. Okay. So here's the thing, all right, guys, we can clearly see this coin is currently trading for just under seven cents right now at the time of me filming this video. And as you guys can clearly see here, look at this market cap, you guys. If that isn't small market cap right there, I don't know what is. That is an extremely, extremely small market cap. We've got $3 million, okay? It's got a $3 million market cap. This is a super, super duper deal, okay? <laughs> super good deal. Circulating supply, still low, so you're good there. Um, and as you guys can clearly see, it is getting used on a daily basis. They've got almost $700,000 running through it on a daily basis. So it is a pretty new project. Um, as we can clearly see here, um, it was just released or price action for it was, you know, just released about September of 2021. So a little over a year right now at the time of me filming. Um, but as we can clearly see here, you guys, let's take a look at this. Okay. Again, it's currently trading for seven cents. All right. Now here's the thing, all right? It has not gone through a full on a bear mar or sorry, full on bull market yet, okay? Um, so it will, it will go through a full on bull market at some point in time, okay? The next bull market. And what's going to happen here is it's going to take off just like all of the other previous coins that have taken off in past previous bull markets, okay? So how much can it go? Let's check this out. So here's the thing, you guys. 
nine times out of 10, coins usually end up going way past their previous all-time high, especially if they didn't get in on a bull market yet, okay? This coin hasn't seen a bull, a full-on bull market yet, okay? So it will go higher than its current all-time high, all right? We can clearly see here it's got a current all-time high of $7.58, you guys, okay? $7.58, all right? Now, we have to really think about that, okay? Let's check this out, all right? So if we're at $7.58 for its all-time high, we'll go ahead and divide that by where it's at right now, which is 0 0.07 cents. We're just gonna round off and call it seven cents. Guys, it is 108X from where it's been at its all-time high, all right? Now imagine if this coin goes to 10 bucks, okay? Imagine if it goes to $10, okay? Think about that. That's going to be absolutely insane here, you guys. Okay, um, you know we're just gonna go ahead and see here if it, you know, what it, if it went to, you know, ten bucks, ten bucks divided by seven cents. You know, you'd be up 142x here, you guys. That is absolutely insane. These are the types of coins you guys want to be buying before the next bull market. Okay, small cap altcoins. These are the type of coins where you know eventually at some point in time in the near future, or not near future, some point in time in the future, they will rise to a market cap level of over you know at least one billion dollars at some point in the future. All right, and when they do prices are going to skyrocket all right and that's typically what happens every bull market you guys i mean it 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 there's there's no difference it happens every single time all right um you can't even deny it <laughs> you really can't um so let's check this out all right if you were to put let's just say for fun um let's just say for shits and giggles you wanted to put a thousand dollars into this okay let's just say a thousand dollars it's an easy number to work with all right we'll go ahead and divide it by 0 0.07 cents you're going to come out with 14,285 coins, okay? I mean, it's right there. It's clear as day. You can clearly see it. 14,285. So 14,285. And guys, we are going to go ahead and multiply this by when it goes up to its all-time high again. If it goes, you know, if it goes up to its all-time high again of $7.58, go ahead and multiply that, but multiply that, you guys, $7.58. You're going to come out of there with $108,000, you guys. This is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. This kind of stuff happens to people every single bull market, you guys. Every single bull market, okay? The key thing here is you can't be scared. You can't be a giant pansy about it, okay? You have to get in on this stuff, all right? You can't sit on the sidelines and be scared. You can't sit on the sidelines and be like, oh, I'm scared it might not go up. You know, it's, it, it, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. That's the key thing that separates people from not making money, okay? If you want to make money, you have to take these kinds of risks, okay? Now, I'm not saying that this coin's gonna go up to this high. I'm not guaranteeing anything. That's impossible for me to know. I'm just simply saying, you guys, these are the types of coins you want to be in, all right? There's so many people every single year before or before every bull run that I've seen so far where they're always like, I don't know what to buy. I don't know what to buy. I don't know what to buy. But yet people at every corner that have been through this kind of stuff already, they tell them the same thing every time. You need to buy small cap altcoins, okay? But here's the thing, a lot of people don't listen. They don't listen because they want to follow the hype. You don't wanna follow the hype, okay? The hype, what, what I'm talking about hype is, you know, hype would be people buying into Loon C, you know, uh, old Luna, or, you know, even, uh, you know, even the new Luna token, you know, that's the kind of hype I'm talking about, okay? You don't wanna be investing in this stuff like that. You don't wanna be taking chances like that, all right? You want to invest into small cap altcoins that are built on top of top tier ecosystems. Um, and they are projects that people are going to actually use, whether it's developers or people, um, whether it's a DEX or a platform for developers to build the, you know, decentralized applications or something like that. Those are the types of projects you guys wanna be buying, all right? So just for fun here, I want to do another one real quick. Um, there's another one that I've had my eye on quite a bit lately called Lena. Um, or linear finance. So linear finance, as you guys can see here, it's a pretty popular project. It's definitely legitimate. Um, it's a decent project, clearly, as you can clearly see. Um, a lot of people use it. It's not, you know, it still has a very low market cap, $29.8 million. That's a very low market cap, you guys, all right? Look at its price right now, 0 0.007, okay? And it's all-time high. Its current all-time high is 31 cents, all right? Here's the thing, you guys. If this is another one that's just like, you know, the last one where it ends up reaching its, you know, its full potential and ends up going as high as its previous all-time high again, I mean, check this out, you guys. Um, what was that? What was that again? Oh, 31 cents. Okay, so 0 0.31, and we'll go ahead and divide that by where it's at right now, 0 0.007. All right, 
So realistically, guys, this isn't a, you know, a 100X, but again, this is a 44X coin, okay? So clearly if it does it, you guys, it's gonna be a 44X, all right? That's solid, solid money, you guys. You put in $1,000 into this one and it goes up to that number again, you're gonna make $44,000 off of your $1,000 investment, okay? The, again, you guys, these are the type of coins that you want to be buying, okay? I literally beg you guys to like make the right decision this next time, okay? Um, because there's a lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of, lot of people who don't do it, okay? And they're just, they don't do it simply because they're scared to. You cannot be scared, okay? If you want to make the big bucks in this market, you have to take risks. These are the kinds of risks you have to take, okay? You have to be able to know what to buy into, okay? So again, you wanna be buy buying into these types of coins. You don't wanna be buying into stuff like, I don't know, we're just gonna go and find some random ass coin somewhere, okay? Um, we're gonna go to like, we're gonna go to like page six on Coin Market Cap, and we're just gonna like pick some random coin. We'll pick, uh, we'll, we'll pick, we'll pick Plat on. I don't, I've never even heard of that before, but we'll pick Plat on. Maybe it's a good coin. I don't know. Um, but clearly, you guys, I, I mean, this one, I don't know. I've never heard of it before, but, uh, you know, this is the kind of stuff that you just, I think you want to stay away from. I don't know what it is. I've never heard of it before. Um, there's not many people on its watch list at all. Um, you know, clearly, there's no max supply. Um, I mean, there's volume going through it, but... Uh, I don't know, you guys. Clearly, you guys, what I'm what I'm realistic, realistically talking about here, you guys, is again, make sure you're buying into projects that are built on top of top tier ecosystems, and they have an actual product that people can use, and they are an active project. Okay. Another thing I want to add is when you're looking into these projects, you guys. Another thing that I definitely want you to look at is here. I'll show you real quick. So I just picked this random project. This is a good project, by the way. Um, Actually, this might be a, this might be a good decent one to get into actually. But anyway, um, one thing you do definitely want to check into is you want to also look at the development activity of the project. That's going to tell you if the project developers are still active in the project as well. Okay, because again, you want to be buying into good projects, and a good project is a project that's still actively building on a regular basis. Okay, so here we go. You know, come to their company website, go to their GitHub account. You can see it right here. It's usually this icon. It's usually a social media icon that looks like a cat or something. You'll literally just click it and then you'll open up to this GitHub area. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with development or anything, it's just a place where developers go to push code and to, you know, do stuff with their code and stuff. Um, and you want to click on repositories right here and it's gonna open up all the repositories. So clearly, you guys, you can clearly see right here, this is where you look. Updated eight days ago, updated on September 8th, okay? This kind of stuff, these are active projects, okay? This is clearly an active project, all right? This was updated eight days ago. There's clearly still people that are, you know, somewhat working on this project. So it has, it is not a dead project or anything like that. So it still does stand a good chance for price movement to, you know, go up quite a bit in the future, okay? So again, you guys, just some other, just some random tips for you to look at as far as, you know, trying to decide which types of coins that you should be buying in the long-term future or for, you know, the next bull market and stuff like that, okay? I know I'm kind of rambling about a bunch of random shit here, but, you know, I just like to cover my bases and kind of, you know, give you guys good ideas and good, you know, good solid examples of, you know, different coins to buy and stuff like that. And, you know, how to actually look and find those types of coins and whatnot. So, because again, you guys, my overall goal here is to help you guys make more money than you have been. Okay. So overall here, you guys, if you have any questions or anything like that about any of this stuff that I've been talking about, um, I know I ramble a lot, but whatever, it's who I am. Um, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. Um, I love helping people. So send me a DM and, you know, we'll go from there. Other than that, you guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this video. So I will go ahead and wrap this one up. But again, guys, hey, before you guys leave, go ahead and make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a new crypto and altcoin video from me on a regular basis. And hey, guys, with that said, thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the comment section of my future videos.